Now that we know how to find most common denominators, we can use that information to help us add and subtract rational expressions with uncommon denominators now. So what, how do we add and subtract if they're not the same? So suppose we have 5 over 6x squared plus 4 over 15x. And so what we need to do is we need to find our LCD first. And since we don't have any plus signs in our denominators, we can just look at the numbers. 6 is 2 and 3, 15 is 3 and 5, so our LCD is going to have a 3, a 2, and a 5, which is 30. And then our x squared and our x is x squared. So our LCD is 30x squared. Our next step is to say, hey, what are we missing from our LCD? And multiply that on the top and the bottom. So 30x squared divided by 6x squared is 5. And 30x squared divided by 15x is 2x. We then multiply this through and we get 25 over 30x squared plus 8x over 30x squared. Add these together to get 8x plus 25. Notice I wrote it in descending order over my one copy. I try and reduce 8x over 25, plus 25, but I can't. So since that's prime, this is done, and we have our answer. Let's look at another example. Suppose we have x plus 2 over x squared plus x minus 6 plus x minus 1 over x squared minus 4. So our first step is to factor. And this is x plus 3 times x minus 2. And this is x minus 2 and x plus 2. So my LCD is what they have in common times what each one individually adds. So then we just need to multiply by what we're missing. This is, has the x plus 3 and the x minus 2. So it's missing the x plus 2. And this is missing the x plus 3. And I already know that my LCD is going to be this, so I'm going to ignore it for a moment and just write this as x plus 2 times x plus 2 plus x minus 1 times x plus 3 all over the LCD. So now that I know that, I can multiply this through and get x squared plus 4x plus 4. This is a perfect square trinomial plus x squared plus 3x minus x oh, minus 3. So this is x squared plus 4x plus 4 times x plus x squared plus 2x minus 3. So we add this together and we get 2x squared plus 6x plus 1 over the LCD. And since there's no factors of 2 that add to 6, we can just simply rewrite our answer as 2x squared plus 6x plus 1 over x minus 2 x plus 2, x minus 3. And since nothing factors, this is our answer. A final example. Suppose we have more than two pieces. Suppose we have three pieces. And so we need to find our LCD, and we do that by looking at our denominators and factoring them as much as we can. And then we see that this right here happens to be our LCD. So when I'm going to write all of this over the LCD, I'm going to get 6 times what it's missing, with it, which is nothing. x plus 1 times what it's missing, and it's missing the x minus 3 minus x minus 2 times the piece it's missing, which is the x plus 3 all over the LCD. Notice I'm not writing the LCD yet because I don't want it to disappear just yet. So now we just multiply this through and we get x squared minus 3x minus plus x minus 3 minus x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 all over the LCD. Combine like terms. Well, first let's distribute the negative through. Minus minus plus plus Combine like terms, I have x squared minus x squared, so the x squareds go away. Minus 3x plus x is minus 2x. Plus 2x goes away, so I'm left with a minus 3x. 
6 minus 3 is 3, plus 6 is 9. All over x plus 3, x minus 3. We factor out a negative 3. And we notice that we have an x minus 3 on the top and the bottom, so that divides out. So our final answer is minus 3 over x plus 3. And we stop here because we can't factor any farther.